Hello and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. We have finished our exams and it is time to get back to the business of speaking to people. So that's what we're gonna do. Hello. This time, I know I did pretty good. I can't wait for the results. It was easier than I expected, but I still missed some. I guess I could have done better. Okay, well let's see if anyone else has anything else to say about this. We will be back around to find whoever we're doing the social link with afterwards. I just want to finish talking to people. Hello. I've been thinking, normally if someone is hurt somewhere, they'll bring in someone new, right? That means if anyone in the student council is hurt, I might have a chance to get in. Uh. Hey, what's with that look? You act like I'm a criminal or something. I'm not that bad. I'll get her without any cheating. Uh. <laughs> run, run, run. Okay. Hello. My parents want me to go to one of those four-year colleges, and after that they think I should be a lawyer or something smart like that. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Uh, nothing up here. Let's head further down. And, hello. I tried out that shooter for cell phones, but I couldn't get into it. It was too tough trying to dodge the bullets on that tiny screen. Oh well, I'll try something else. Yes, I have the problem of large hands, which makes uh, phone games very difficult, as uh, most of the real estate is taken up by my own oversized digits. So, yes, mostly stick to things with a large screen. Welcome. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. It's cooling down outside lately. There's no heater here, so it gets freezing cold in the winter. Oh. Oh, that's just upsetting. Hello. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to the shrine. It's so peaceful there. Oh, I just realized I forgot to do something. Mm, yep, I need to go speak to Mr. Ono. Mr. Ono, are you here? I'm assuming he is, because it gave you just enough days to get to the exams. Mr. Ono seems to have stepped out. Never mind. And this here. I should get going since there's no time to waste. If I power walk to the station, it'll take seven minutes. But if I consider the speed at which the train pulls into the station, three minutes might not be enough. Oh yeah, I'm in charge of dinner tonight, so there's another 12 minutes to get groceries. I better compensate for the pressure ratio when mashing potatoes to avoid inefficiency. If the average potato's diameter is about 12 centimeters, then that comes out to... Oh, forget it. Going home isn't worth the trouble. I'm staying at school. What's up? Oh, it's you, Zappa. Do you want to stay the night at school, too? You're looking for Mr. Ono. Oh, now that you mention it, I haven't seen that helmet lately. Oh, uh, I mean that teacher. I don't have time to fritter away looking for him either, so try again later. By the way... You know, that helm of his really is a nice piece. I never say that's Mr. Ono's face, because I never hear the end of it, but it's fine craftsmanship. The curved line at the top. It's an ideal arc for absorbing impact. An arc like that can absorb about... 48% of the impact from above. Then there's the material. It's not just a thick chunk of metal. It's extremely thin metal. In fact, layered with finely braided hemp for added practicality. Mr. Takenozuka keeps going on and on with his lecture. And that's how it's done. So that explains that. See, isn't it a wonderful specimen? Hmm? Its origin? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. I have zero interest in archaeology. Okay, well, we get a point of academics. Doesn't matter. We're already the perfect human being. Mr. Ono doesn't seem to be returning. I decided to give up for today. Okay. Well, time to leave here and go to somewhere else. Uh, let's see if anyone else is talking about anything new, given that we got new dialogue at school. Ooh, we got some new stuff here. That guy is just the type to take a question like that seriously. I was just testing him, though. I think you'd do fine in a situation like that. It's a trick we use to get the guy closer to us. Oh, what's more important to you, soccer or me? A uh, question like that. She must be unhappy with me. But why? Is she really? Oh, dear. I think he's too nervous to play games with him. Right. Head over here. Nobody wants to speak here. Okay, Polonia. Need to go to the shrine as well, obviously. No one in here. Let's go to the shrine. 
Just change the music every uh, couple of places. Right, over to the Yip Yip Shrine. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, passive, and we'll grab ourselves a little bit of a fire boost. Yes. Wonderful. Right, time to leave here. Now we're going to Watodai, over to the station. We have one new person here. I think I have that apathy syndrome thing. I took a few days off from work. The night shift is getting tough, and trying to talk to my patients wears me out. I want to quit, but I can't. I've got a family to support. Sounds like you're burning out, mate. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Right. Uh, nobody to speak to here. Cool. Right. Let's see who we've got. So we have Bunkichi, who obviously we're not going to speak to. We have Yukari and Fuka. Mitsuru is unavailable. Let's speak to one of these two uh, in the hallway. Probably Fuka, because we've already done quite a lot of Fukas. And if we get somebody else, we want to have clear up, like, basically a social link so we have space. Assuming that they're not all going to be overlapping. Right. Uh, oh, we're also one of Fortune. I forgot that. Okay. Where is Fuka? Oh, she's the second one. Uh, we need a priestess. Do we have a priestess? We do indeed have a priestess. All right then. Hello. Um. Oh, Zaplacoon, are you busy today? I'm heading to the used bookstore right now. Do you want to join me? Me saying I don't need to go see Bunkichi. We're gonna go see Bunkichi. Let's go. Thank you. Oh great, thank you. I've been looking for a good cookbook for a while now. Do you think they'll have any? really that many cookbooks were there. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. Uh, what is it? Oh, um, do you mind if we take a seat? Do you remember what I told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. I did think that she'd said that, but I assumed it must have been someone else, because it seemed like a very odd thing to be like, we're going to the bookstore right after telling us that. Yeah, I remember. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. Oh. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Mm -hmm. That's messed up. Thank you. But don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and... I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Fuka expressed how she feels about me. Our relationship with her is becoming more intimate. Rank up! We are now rank 7 in the Priestess Social Link. Oh, um, sorry. I'm always going on about my own problems. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Somehow... I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. 
I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Hmm. Is that the only reason? Huh? Uh, oh! Well, maybe that isn't the only reason. <sighs> Sorry, um, I, I think I need to go back to the dorm. I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Could we talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. Fuka left. I decided to return to the dorm. It is now the evening time. Ooh, there's a box on the counter. I love it. Every time I order from Tanaka on Sunday, I forget it's arriving when, whenever it arrives. And I'm like, ooh, a present. It is the paring knife. Ooh, okay. Okay. Back. Sup, dude? Phew, the five days from hell are finally over. Yo, you want to head to Old Tartar tonight? Uh, I'll think about it. Nice. All right, I gotta get the exams off the brain, you know? Okay, oh, no, we're gonna be dog walking tonight. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna hang out with you, Tanaka, because the dog needs to be walked, but maybe later. Right, uh, why did I go in that menu? I went to go in this menu. There we go. Is the paring knife better? No. Although it does have a chance of applying random ailment, it's just simply not better. <laughs> it's just bad. And the sorcerer's mark gives you invigorate. It stores a little bit of SP at the end of each turn. That's kind of maybe useful for Ken. Although Ken has a bonus when he goes low on SP. I don't know who that's for anymore. Like, generally it would be for a healer because you'd want to, like, save up for a big AoE heal. But we don't really have anyone where that, who that works for, so, yeah. Anyway, hello. How's everything going? Considering all you've been through, you did an excellent job on your exams. You should go all out and enjoy the weekend. Hello. Salut. <laughs> I was worried about how the loss of Aragaki would affect the rest of the team. But he see it but it seems everyone is not letting it deter them. He must be smiling down on us from above. By the way. I don't feel relieved like I usually do after exams, do you? I feel completely relieved. Huh? Really? I'm too worried about the last operation coming up to be relieved about anything. Maybe you should just calmer about these things than me. When is the last operation? Last operation is... Uh... That's halfway through. Must be next month? Ah, it's on the 3rd. Okay, so we're really looking to go to Tartarus on like the 31st or the 1st? I guess the 1st would be the obvious answer. Yeah, go on the 1st Monday and then we're good to go. Although I guess we could go on the Monday, but we kind of want to go a little earlier so we can go then shopping on Monday, but we'll see. Um... Uh, let's talk. Oh, hello. Phew, we're finally done with exams. I don't think I did very well this time. I had a hard time remembering some terms and formulas. How do you think you did? Uh, same as always. Ooh. Oh, that's great. Then I guess you don't have to worry about your grades. The cultural anthropologists have calculated another date. They say the next Aphthy Syndrome victims will begin to appear in one week. Oh, okay. Hello. Excuse me. My favorite subjects are tactical theory, mechanical engineering, and information analysis. Unfortunately, examinations did not cover these subjects. Therefore, regarding the results of the exams, I will be, as Junpei-san would put it, in deep shit. Oh, all right then. Hello, Ken. Uh... If we don't have exams in elementary school, uh, I'll have to take them in middle school. Are they difficult? Um, not really. Oh! Really? Wow, that's good to hear. Okay. Uh, let's do a save, and then... Hello, Koromaru. Arth? Who's coming with us? He wants to go for a walk with nobody else with us? That means we're meeting a random. Alright. Oh! Oh, hey. Fancy seeing you here again. It's Kenji again. Yeah, fancy seeing you here again. You're surprisingly diligent taking care of that little guy. 
I mean, I keep telling them that we're just childhood friends, but they won't stop prying about it. I just realized him saying that we're awfully diligent is actually true. Because if these are going on a cycle, like we think they are, like each one is going to be, like they're not set to a day, then it could be that because we've uh, hung out with Koromaru enough times, we've now got to this one, so we are diligent because we've been doing it. I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, looks like he's back. Guess I'll start heading home then. See you later. Okay. Koromaru and I returned to the dorm. That wasn't completely useless. That gave us um, three notes with Kenji, which means that we could potentially finish Kenji's in, uh, with only five more uh, events. Should be pretty good. I've got a few messages. A little refresher or downtime. Ooh, now we might want to hang out with Haraga. The reason why we might want to hang out with Haraga is because this would guarantee us the level 10. Well, we won't say yes immediately, but anyway, cool. Kaz says, do you want to hang out? We got, good morning, been feeling the burnout starting to creep up on me, so I'm going to take some time for myself and go out. I know you're probably busy, but I'd love it if you joined me. Just let me know what you decide before this afternoon. Thanks. Okay. But before that, you know what time it is. And it's not time to spin the wheel of mythicality. It is the time to go to the home shopping show. It's Amazing Commodities! All right, Tanaka, host of Amazing Commodities. We got an assortment of instant food. Too busy to whip up a full meal? Or maybe you've have you've got a hankering for something quick and easy. Good, good. How about some instant curry? Five of them to boot. A must-have pantry item. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not we'll bad, throw in kid. this instant ramen too. Guess how many? Ten. All for just 4980 yen. Oh, obviously. I'm in. Oh, you had me at buy. Thanks, kid. Halloween fun set. Ooh, do you think those might be outfits? That'd be cool. Maya, I'm sorry, Maya. We're not hanging out today. You were a lower priority than Haraga. Right. Head over this way. And hello. Oh, right. So, how did you do in your exams? I did well. Oh. Excellent. Oh, okay. Um, oh, hello. Hey. Is the machine in the command room still acting up? Oh. Yes, it hasn't been repaired yet. Hmm. So we don't know the cause. Then how will, it, will we ever fix it? I'll check it out later. If you have time for it, could you check it out too, applicant? Okay. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 35. Passenger, Hitch, and Romance. Fight for your sickly love swallow. On to today's news. Okay, uh, it's 25, right, on this one? Just want to confirm. Uh, 25, yep. Okay. Uh, now we want to go to the command room, because we have another event. There are no new recordings? Oh, we were, like, just specifically told there was a new recording. Um, alright then. Let's go. Yes. Let's see. So this is just my personal opinion, but I think that all our lives are predestined. Um, okay, you invited us out for like some coffee and you're like, hey, do you think that existence is predestined or do we have a, a actual um, free will in this, uh, you know, universe? And I'm like, I, I just wanted to come for the coffee. If unexpected events in life are actually course corrections from whoever decides our destinies, then our lives can be described as scenarios written by an author. No. But I don't mean that pessimistically. Even if your life is predestined, I think you should give it your all while on that path. Uh... You have a point? Thank you. You agree? Well, I'm glad I decided to talk to you about this. I was worried that I'd sound too preachy about it, but if only I met you because if I only met you because I was written to, I'd like to thank the author of my life. 
Hiraga seems very happy. I feel like we became a lot closer today. Well... Well, I'll have to continue my preparations. I think I'll check for some books on the way back. Oh, if you need help with your studies, feel free to ask. I can teach you my studying techniques. The two of us talked for a while longer before I headed back to the dorm. Uh... Okay. That's a weird vibe for a, like, hey, do you want to get some coffee and talk about existence? Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Anyway. That's fine. Um... We got another walk to do? How many times are we going to go on a walk? I mean, I guess it's, you know, their dog. That's kind of what they like doing. There's a new recording. Yeah, this is what I thought had happened. Um, if, given it told us there was one specifically, I thought maybe it just has the same dialogue in the afternoon as it does at night time and it's available at night. So, let's go. Hmm? It looks like Yukari's room. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to say about Yukari's room. That might be because of what Yukari is wearing. Let's see how what she has to say. Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on. So maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yukatan? Hey. Does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takiba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? <sighs> Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec! I know. I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Yukari-chan! Those clothes! I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Um, wait! Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Um, wait! Yukari chun! <laughs> the recording ends here. Okay then. The impression of Ken was really good, I gotta say. Um, that, that, that one was very good. Um,. The Junpei one, not so accurate, but still uh, entertaining. Right. Hello there, Koromaru. You want to go for a walk? That's what I thought. Let's go for a walk. Let's be Bunkichi. Oh, it's not. Oh, hey, what's up? It's Yuko. Huh. All right, what's up? Oh my gosh, that is such a cute dog. You are so lucky. I'm not allowed to have pets at my place. Oh wait, did you hear? Kaz did it again. Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towel stinks so bad. Do I want to know the full story? I don't think I want to know the full story. <laughs> Arf indeed. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. Oh, see you later, doggy. Karamaru and I return to the dorm. And now, it's Monday. Hey, the exam results are up. I scored the highest in my grade. Everyone is looking at me with respect. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
Come to think of it, Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. I should talk to Mitsuru when I see her. Lunchtime is almost over. I should get back to class. That was a pretty uh, jazzy little interlude. And it becomes this. Then round up like this and the answer is x equals 1. Hmm? It isn't. Oh, I see. This becomes 11, so uh, x equals 2. Hang on, what? Uh, okay, uh, your assignment is to figure this one out. Anyway, wasn't that fun? Numbers are so interesting. Even with a difficult problem like this one, once it's solved, it becomes a much sim uh, It becomes such a simple concept. Our entire reality is made up of numbers. Civilization owes its very existence to math. And then All right, Zaplacoon, you seem like a math fan. Here's a question for you. We use the number zero a lot. Do you know where it originally came from, though? Um... It originally came from the Babylonians? That was not one of the answers. Okay. Okay. Let's just, let's just narrow it down a little bit here, okay? Zero. So, when do we think zero became a concept? I think that given that zero is the English word for it, although this is a translated question, given that zero is the English word for it, it's unlikely to be India, because I don't think that would have had as big an impact over the English word for nothing. So that means it's been either Rome or Egypt. Now we have the question of, do we think it came up earlier in Egypt or Rome? I would think Egypt, because Egypt's been around longer than Rome. Oh, too bad. The correct answer is India. Oh. Well, there goes my logic. Too bad, the correct answer is India. I guess you aren't really that big a math fan, huh? Isn't it fascinating how someone just up and conceived the concept of emptiness one day? Thus, with the birth of the zero, all the mathematics took an enormous leap forward. Ah, the beauty and wonder of it all. Math is magnificent. What do you mean you're not going to tell me who it is? All right, well, I, I, I've got a phone. I can, I can do this. Right. Okay. Who invented zero? Uh, Brahmagup. An astronomer and mathematician from India use zero in mathematical operations like addition and subtraction. Aryabhata introduced zero in the 5th century and Brahmagupta introduced zero in calculations around 628 AD. Okay, so there, there's your answer. Uh, there is also did the Mayans invent zero? And, and the answer to that one is they probably didn't invent zero. This is what it says if you open that one up. Okay, India is the generally accepted one. That seems way later than I would think for zero being introduced. I was assuming it had to be the earliest possible example there. But 6th and 7th century? Okay, that's like a lot late. That's much more recent than I would think. Anyway, now we've had our learning for the day. Let's just clear out these. Hello. I was happy with my score. All that studying I did during summer vacation paid off. Hello. Phew, what a relief. I didn't do too badly. But my scores will never go up if I don't take things more seriously. I'm going to study as soon as I get home. Alright, you do that, random person. You do that. Anyone else want to talk about exam scores? Nope. Okay, main lobby. And... Hello, Mitsuru. Oh. Ah, Zapla. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our, um, extracurricular activities. Oh my lord, that's so good. I also got the pendant of unity for coming first. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, what is the pendant of unity? Pendant of Unity is Shift Boost. Oh, okay. 
I think our Mega Master Band is better because it's plus three to all stats. Uh, I do want to go speak to Mitsuru again, but I want to go to Naganaki Shrine before I do. Then we're heading back to the school, then we're speaking to Mitsuru, then we're... Uh, then we're doing something. I don't know. I, I, I was, like, getting into the, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and then I forgot. We're going to the faculty office. We're not even speaking to Mitsuru next. We're going to the faculty office. I'm going crazy. There we go. You gotta see Mr. Ono. He'll totally be there today. Also, who's available? Uh, Fuka does not have a level up? Oh, okay. I made some wrong choices in that one, I guess. I did see we got a couple of single choices, so it's probably due to that. Instead of getting triples, but I would have thought we would get some from hanging out, but I guess we didn't get any from hanging out because we didn't have the social link when we did the hangouts in the evening. Anyway, Mr. Ono seems to have Whoa. stepped out. Wow, how is it already so late? My darling's not home today, so I'm... And I'm so lonely. Hmm, maybe I could have dinner with Miss Toriyumi. We could go to that restaurant with that interesting game. What was it called again? Ah, uh, Mahjong Parlor? I hope I don't lose again. I don't think there's any way I can win against Miss Toriyumi. Hi! Oh, hello Zapla, how are you? Miss Toriyumi isn't here, so I was just about to look for her myself, actually. Say, Zapla, do you play Mahjong? It's very intriguing. The technical terms in particular are quite interesting. If I play too much, I can't stop thinking about them for days. Mentan, Pin, Doradora, Grichi, Ipatsu, Chi, Toi, Itsu, Sumo. I've said that stuff even in my sleep. My poor darling hasn't slept very well as a result. Shall I teach you the other technical terms? Though, I'd just be repeating what Miss Tori Yumi taught me. Well, for beginners, there's only Richie. Then, I got a few intermediate phrases such as, I got a reverse Dora. Looks like you're waiting for one tile, or you've got to have more than two Han. Or advanced stuff, you have a hand, don't you? I have all the tiles you're waiting for, and Magan Buya. So far, I've only had the chances to use the beginner's phrases, though. But Miss Toriyumi is a very patient teacher. She'll tell me, you should throw this one away, or you won't get many points if you call that one, so I wouldn't, and I dropped the tile by accident, so you can't run it. She's taught me so much, but I haven't been able to win a single match. Sounds like Miss Toriyumi is cheating, because running it would be uh, taking the tile and using that to win. So, yeah, basically she was like, oops, I lost the game accidentally. No, you can't do that. No, that's not, that's not on. I learned technical terms for Mahjong. Mr. Ono doesn't seem to be returning. I decided to give up for today. Alrighty then. Oh, Mitsuru. Oh. Are you leaving now, Zapla? Let's walk home. Together. My apologies. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I'd love to talk to you, but I've got a lot on my mind right now. Mitsuru seems very busy with her student council work. I think I need to be closer with Mitsuru before we can hang out. What? What does that even mean? Wait, I know what that means. What that means is we need to wait until later in the game until we can hang out. But we did have to get Genius to do it as well, I think. Okay, well we could hang out with Fuka, but if we hang out with Fuka, we are wasting a day because we're not getting a level up. We can hang out with Hidetoshi, but we've already done Hidetoshi. Uh, we've already done uh, Yukari and Fuka before as well, but I would prefer to get Yukari if I'm going to redo one. So, hello Yukari. Hey there. Man, I'm beat from all that studying, and I'm sure you are too. Let's give ourselves a pat on the back. Oh, by the way, are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Hey, we've to Tanya, so let's go. <laughs> Great, why don't we head somewhere fun? Oh right, there's this place I wanted to check out. How we pick out something nice, would you? Hmm. Lilies are too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? Hmm. 
what color does she want us to say? Well, here's my two clue. Here's my clues. Let's let, let's narrow down our choices a little bit. It didn't work so well for the India who invented zero thing, but maybe it'll work well with Yukari. Let's just look down the list. What's a Gerbera? She won't like that. She she won't like that. She'll she'll lump us in with Junpei. So you have the choice between cute pink, pure white, and bright red. Now, if we look at what she's wearing, she's wearing cute pink, pure white, and bright red. So, if we take that into account, it could be any of the three. Now, if we look at it, pure white is just happens to be the color of, of the school shirt. So, by choice, she has chosen cute pink and bright red. Now, if we look at these two, which one is the standout color? It's got to be red, because it's the bow. So, I gotta say it's the bow. However, if we look at it even closer, you'll see that the two girls in the back are also wearing the bows. That makes me think it's part of the outfit for the school uniform, in which case it's gonna be cute pink because that's the only thing she's chosen herself. You think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it. Kerberos by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? Well, technically, we saw it on the secret camera. We shouldn't tell her about that. We should not tell her about that. Invite me over, then. You wish. I'm not falling for that trick. <laughs> You're as bad as Junpei. Oh no, the thing I wanted to avoid happened. We've been lumped in with Junpei. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> Is that just kidding? Unless you're into it or whatever. I don't know. Yukari seems to be full of laughter today. It seems we've grown closer. Rank up. We are now rank two in the lover's social link with Yukari Takuma. Wow, look at the time. Gosh, what should I get? I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. You know, I used to be an indecisive person, but now I'm just not sure. Uh, after hanging out with Yukari, I decided to return to the dorm. Right, now it's the evening. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hello. Your exams are over, right? If you decide to go to Tartarus, I want to go... I want to go too. I promise I'll do everything I can. I'll be fighting for him too. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. I forgot to buy more spinach. Oh well. You know, these things happen. Uh, rooftop. We have other things we can plant that aren't spinach. Uh, I think the onions are okay. Yeah, because I believe that these are buffs, right? So, let's let's do that. Hey, it's 1029. Perfect. So next time these are ready, um, the, uh, we, the fridge is ready as well. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Hello. <sighs> Phew, no Fs. No, I don't have to go to Aragaki-san's grave and tell him I failed. Hmm. Aiga-san said she didn't do so well on her exams. Maybe some academic specs had to be sacrificed and to make her over-specialized in combat. Hmm, I guess robots have their own share of problems too, huh? Okay. Well, the exam results have been posted. Now that we don't have to, uh, that hanging over our heads anymore, let's focus on Tartarus. The next operation will be our last one, so let's put our all into preparing for it. Hello. Excuse me. I perform satisfactorily in chemistry and mathematics, but I perform poorly in other subjects. But since I specialize in combat, these results are not unexpected. Hello, Koromaru. There's nothing interesting on the news. Okay, hello. By the way. How uh, were your results for the exams? Mine were the usual. Well, we can't just be wasting time worrying about exam results right now. Our priority should be to train as much as we can for the final battle. 
Okay. Hello. Um, um. Have you seen the exam results? Mine actually weren't as bad as I thought they'd be, but I feel like I could have done much better. It made me realize that I'm still stewing over all sorts of things. I have to keep it together. Are we getting anything if we hang out? Uh, no. Not now. Sorry. Anyone else want to hang out? I think everyone's in, in here, right? Nobody's upstairs? Oh, you're upstairs. I don't think we've done all of these, right? If you're not too busy, would you care to join me? I'd actually, I'd love to hear your opinion on this one book. Yeah, this is the last one we need to do. Let's read together. In that case... All right, I'll go grab that book for you. I see you're reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. The book recounts one woman's rise to power. It seems she led a turbulent life marked by cunning and backdoor politics. By learning about the exploits of renowned individuals, my academics have improved. Well, no they haven't. Because they're already max. Reading this actually made me think. What is the right way for a person to rule? Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? Um, we all find our own happiness. I see. A happiness equal to the hardship, perhaps. It's hard to imagine what form it will take, but I'd like to believe that's true. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Itsuru seems satisfied with our reading. Whoa. Second characteristic. Ailment Surge greatly raises critical rate on foes with ailments, with Mitsuru in battle. Oh, the way it's phrased very much tells you what that means. That means that if an ailment is on an enemy, other people in combat are going to get the higher critical rate. That's an interesting thing. Such storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes, I find myself thinking you have that same potential. Hmm. You're exaggerating. <laughs> Am I? I'd like to say I'm a fairly good judge of character. In other words, I have faith in your abilities. I hope you're up to the task. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. Okay. It's now Tuesday. All right, time for class. I was going to ask who the orange-haired person was. Then I realized this is a different class. This this is Fuka's class, so that must be Natsuki. Uh, also... Is it just me, or is the guy on the right quite clearly like a 30-year-old man? In fact, two of them appear to, like, be 30-year-old men on the right-hand side here. I'm fairly certain that they're the salary men, um, like, models. That's kind of weird. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey! Are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki-senpai. 
Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around, that nothing would ever change, but some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that, I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait. Transfer? What? And now, it's lunchtime. You're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving, and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring, and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like, right here? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <sighs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want, I... Uh, I used to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so... I always went along with the people around me, but I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But 
I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Natsuki-chan? Here, even if we're apart, we're still connected. So, we can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm kinda tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now. Natsuki-chan, I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people. Even when they're apart, my persona has given me this amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. The resolution in Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. Fuka's persona, Lucia, has given rise to Juno. And with that, she is powered up. Now, what was interesting about that is um, when we first went through that in FES, I was looking at it and I was thinking, it's a little weak, right? Compared to Akihiko or Ken's one, right? They had very solid awakenings in that theirs are firmly based around Aragaki's death. One of them is Ken coming to terms with uh, no longer having a purpose in life when he's had revenge for so long. Akihiko's was about coming to uh, terms with the death of um, his friend and having new resolve because of it. And Fuka's here. Originally, I was like, kind of like, oh, her friend's moving away? All right, then. But I think the line about that makes me change my mind a little bit here is the line about um, how when Ar Aragaki uh, died, it caused uh, her to realize that uh, things were not going to be the same. And that was shaking her to her core. And she's used that to realize that she could also change. I think that's kind of more interesting. I think it's less about the Natsuki leaving, even though that's one of the things that triggers this, it's just the her Natsuki giving Buka the self-realization that she could go and change something. Which is kind of cool. Anyway, this appears to be the same. Grants one post random positive uh, effect to all allies. Isn't it? Is that not what it was before? Oh, it does say, oh, it says enhanced positive effect. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means. There you are. Maybe it means it would give you charge or something? Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual to find you up on the rooftop. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were all right. I think I figured it out. Okay? I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um, sure? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're alright? <laughs> And now, it's after school. Okay. Sewing Machine, Kenji, Keisuke, and Hagakuri Ramen. Alright, we got more people to speak to. But, oh wait, no, we're, we're not done yet. No, 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 there's one thing, of course, that we have to do. 
we have to go in here, Persona and Background. The goddess of family and marriage and wife to the Roman god Jupiter. She is often equated with the Greek goddess Hera. Though she is kind, she is also vengeful, seeking to punish women who have affairs with her husband. This is Juno. Uh, does it tell us what her uh, thing actually does? It probably doesn't, right? It just says, yeah, grants one positive. Yeah, okay. I think it's the enhanced word that I was missing there, but anyway. With that, it is time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.